of Jesus Christ, you're going to end up in the fires of hell forever. These people in here, Motley Crew and Kiss, couldn't care and lick about your life. All they care about is your money and getting ripped off of you. That's all they care about. Let them shed their blood for you. Oh, the Lord Jesus Christ shed his blood for you. Motley Crew and Kiss only care about your money, not your soul. Jesus Christ cares about your soul. Jesus Christ did his blood on the cross for your soul. But you belong to your way to the way to destruction. The Bible says, enter by the narrow gate. The wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many go in by it. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way we lead the life, and there are few values. Do you think you're okay with God following Motley Crew and Kent? You're in big trouble, sir. You're going to forsake your sin. You're on the broad way that leads to destruction. You're not on the typical way. You're on the broad way, sir. You're just like the rest of the world. You're going to end up in hell in the end. Such nonsense. He said you can be that way. You're on the broad path that leads to destruction. The Bible says, enter by the narrow gate. The wide is the gate. Broad is the way which leads to destruction. And there are many who go in by. Are you criticizing my criticism, sir? Kind of like a criticizing my criticism, sir. Not being a hypocrite. Because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life and there are few who find it. And as you drown your mind with this garbage and this nonsense, what's going to come out of your life with garbage and nonsense? God commands you to repent you're going to perish. God's going to judge the world and righteous. Are you ready to meet God? Are you ready to stand before God? Are you going to counter and talk to God? God's going to judge even the secret things. The things don't get done with no one else knows about. God is going to judge for those things. God is going to judge you for those things. God is not happy with kids and motley crew. And God's not happy with giving your money to them. And supporting your wickedness. God is not happy God gave rock and roll to us. God is angry with them if he never did. That's what he said. That's what he said. That's what he said. The Bible says, do not love the world and the things of the world. If you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. For all that's in the world, the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but of the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. You do the will of God, then you'll abide forever. But if you're appealing to the lust of your flesh, your eyes, and the pride of life, you're going to end up in hell in the end. You ought to seek the Lord while he may be found and call upon him while we are near. Let the wicked forsake his way. Forsake his way. And the unrighteous man is gone. Let him return to the Lord. He will have mercy on him. But you keep up your sin. If you keep it up on the broad path, you're going to end up in hell in the end. You're going to end up in destruction in the end. That's not God's will for you. That is good and acceptable thing to God. To the good and simple thing to God who desires for all to be saved and for none to perish. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. And we're here to testify of Jesus Christ. You're in a public place, man. You're in a public place. Don't touch me. You will be arrested. Don't you touch me. You will be arrested. Walk away. Walk away. Personal space. This is personal space. Your filthy mouth shows your filthy heart. All the filthy words that pour out from your mouth like water, like it's no big deal, shows how filthy your heart is. Then leave. The Bible says, out of the mouth of the heart, the flow of the heart. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. If you have filthy words coming out of your mouth, it's a sure sign you have a filthy heart. You do repent. These are the ladies around here. You ought to watch your mouth. Big ladies around here. Children, too. You ought to watch your mouth. I know you're not a lady, but there's ladies around here. That's yes, God commands you to repent. God commands you to give up your sins. You won't be cussing at God on Judgment Day, sinner. You won't be blaspheming His name then. He commands you to repent. He's going to perish. There is no God. Well, I'm not going to shut up. You're a fool. Who said I was talking to you? As God commands you to repent, Jesus commands you to go and sin no more. 
you come out here and you're, you become a fool for the devil, you'll paint your face and put your t-shirts on and your hats on for the devil. Not for Jesus Christ, not for the one who shed his blood for you, but for the devil. the gospel that your sins may be blotted out, but as long as you remain fornicators and drunkards and potty mouths, as long as you remain immodestly dressed, you're in big trouble with God. The Bible says, do not be deceived. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites will inherit the kingdom of God. Partiers and drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. For this you know, that no fornicator, unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ in God. Because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not be partakers with them. Don't be partakers with the sons and daughters of disobedience. If you're a son or daughter of disobedience, the wrath of God abides upon you. He who obeys the Son, he who believes the Son has life, he who does not believe the Son does not have life, and the wrath of God abides on him. The wrath of God abides on sinners, and mercy and truth, atonement was provided for iniquity, and by the fear of the Lord, one departs from evil. You need to start fearing God and departing from evil. As long as you stay a sinner, you keep on living your life the way you want to, you're going to end up in hell in the end, Prince. That's not God's will for you. God desires for all to be saved to come to knowledge of the truth. God wants all to come to repentance. So as long as you keep watching Prince and Motley Crue and listening to their garbage and their nonsense, you're still a sinner and judgment day will be a terrible day for you. Look at the way you do to yourself. You mark up your body. You color your hair, you color your faces, you paint your faces, all for these filthy sinners who don't care about you one bit. I wonder what you'll do for Jesus Christ. If Jesus Christ, he shed his blood on the cross. He died for his enemies on the cross. Motley Crue can't come and ask you to pay $60 for a ticket and you spend it willfully. You spend hundreds of dollars coming to this concert with your family, leaving your children to destruction, money on parking, money on gas coming here. You paint your face, you buy the t-shirts, you buy the hats. For what? For what? What good is it going to be to your soul? What good will it be to your soul when you have to give an account to God? What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and ruins his own soul in the end? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Many people are willing to exchange their soul for very little. Some people exchange their soul for drunkenness. Some people exchange their soul for ungodly music. Some people exchange their soul for fornication. Some people exchange their soul for sexual morality and for fornication. Your soul must not be worth very much to you to exchange it for so many things. For such small things, for sin, for pleasure that only lasts for a season. You're going to give an account, friends. We don't want you to end up in hell. We don't want you to get what you deserve for your sins in hell forever. We want you to get what you don't deserve for your sins, which is mercy and grace and forgiveness. But God only gives mercy. God only gives forgiveness to those who forsake their sins. Only those who confess and forsake their sins shall find mercy. Those who continue in their sins and trample the blood of Jesus Christ underfoot will find no mercy. And judgment day will not be mercy day for them. Judgment day will be a terrible day. The Bible says, blessed are those who do the commandments of God. They might have the right to the tree of life, and they enter through the gate into the city. But outside the city are the dogs, the sorcerers, the sexually immoral, the murderers, the idolaters, and anyone who loves and practices a lie. Yeah, those are the people who will not make it into the kingdom of heaven. The sexually immoral, the drunkards, those who are engaging in drug use, they will not inherit the kingdom of God. They will find themselves out, cast out, bound hand and foot, and cast into the everlasting lake of fire, where the worm does not die and the fire is never quenched. That's where sinners will end up. That's where you will end up. You don't forsake your sins. That's where you end up if you don't give up your sins and follow Jesus Christ. 
if you don't put aside your demonic music and follow Jesus Christ. You know, the old saying, garbage in, garbage out, is true. If you put garbage in your head, it'll be garbage out. If you fill your mind with wickedness and wicked musical lyrics, wickedness is going to come right back out of your life. That's your will. You're not right with God. If you're coming here to a motley crew and kick constant night and think you're a child of God, you're deceived. You're deluded. You're not a child of God if you're coming to this concert here tonight to support demonic activity. He is anger at Motley Crue. He is hate Kent and he is anger at Kent. Kent and Motley Crue, all members of both crews, if they don't repent, will end up in the everlasting lake of fire. They're leaving you there with them. You're crazy if you're going to this concert, sir. It's crazy to keep being a sinner. It's crazy to keep being a sinner. Yeah, it's crazy. You're right. I'm glad you're admitting it. That's the first step in recovery, is admitting your sins. If you're going to this concert tonight and you're continuing your sins, you're crazy. Because you're going to end up in hell. Is your soul really worth that little to you? Is your soul and your life really worth that little to you that you'll go to a kiss and motley crew concert and end up in hell in the end? Why would you support the demonic and wicked lyrics? If this is entertaining to you, if you have a great danger, you have a great problem with your heart, with your life, if you think Motley Crue and Kiss concerts are entertaining, you have a great problem in your heart and mind. Sin should never be entertaining. Things that cost you your soul should never be entertaining, should not be fun, you should not cheer them on. Cheering on things that send your life, send your soul to hell, doesn't make any sense. That's where sinners will end up. Many of you idolize Motley Crue. Many of you idolize Kiss. You've been watching for years and years and decades. You've been following Motley Crue and Kiss. As you listen to their lyrics, you play your mind with their songs, destroying your soul. These men who care less about you, couldn't care less about you, yet you reject and go on your days and reject the one who does care for you. You reject the one who does care for your soul, Jesus Christ, the one who shed his blood for you on the cross. The only one who cares for you, ultimately, is Jesus Christ, not these men. Not, not Kent, not Motley Crue, not Death Leopard. You just, you need to repent, man. You need to repent. You need to go tear your ticket up and go home. This is a filthy concert. I can't believe you can go to this place. I can't believe you can go to this place. You all need to repent. The best thing you can do with your Motley Crue ticket is tear it up. Put it in the garbage. It's worth nothing. I don't care how much you paid for it. You paid $120 for front row tickets and backstage passes. Tear them up and go home for the sake of your own soul. Your soul is worth more than $120. Your soul is worth more than the ticket you paid, whatever you paid for the ticket. Your soul is worth more than your beer guzzling and your drunkenness. Your, your soul is worth more than fornication. Give up these things, friends. They're going to cost you your soul. The vows of the wages of sin and death, what you'll earn by living a life of sin is a second death. You need to repent, sir. You're not a Christian. You're going to Motley Crue and Kiss. You can't be a Christian to go to Motley Crue and Kiss. You're deceived, sir. You're deceived. Deceived. The devil's deceiving you. If you think you can be a Christian and go to this concert, you're deceived. Greatly deceived. Greatly deceived. You're not a follower of Jesus Christ. A follower of Jesus Christ doesn't go to such nonsense. Doesn't go to a disgusting, filthy mess of Motley Crue and Kiss. They don't waste their money on such things. They don't waste their money on beer and taking their face like Kiss. And that they're trying to emulate them like they're their idols or their heroes. That if a true Christian obeys God's commandments. They don't, they're not fornicators. Christians aren't fornicators. Christians aren't drunkards. Christians aren't musician idolaters. Christians don't listen to Motley Crue and Kiss. Christians listen to hymns and godly music. The Bible tells you to meditate upon God's law. They may be careful to do everything written and not meditate upon filthy musical lyrics. Give up Motley Crue. Give up Kiss. Follow Jesus Christ who shed his blood for you on the cross. That you might have eternal life. That you might have forgiveness of sins. That you might enter into Christ's kingdom. But as long as you continue in your sins, as long as you're going to Motley Crue and Kiss and filling your mind with this wicked nonsense, you're in great danger.
We're here to warn you. The narrow path tonight is crossing over the broad path. And we're calling you to get off the broad path and get on the narrow path. Christ Jesus shed his blood for you on the cross, not so you can stay a sinner, not so you can go to wicked concerts like this and spend your money on this nonsense. Christ shed his blood so you can pour out the beer. Pour it out and rip up some tickets. Christ shed his blood for you. Not like Leonard Skinner and free burn nonsense. Christ can truly make you free. Yes, if you commit sin, you're a slave to sin, Jesus said. If you commit sin, if you're still committing sin, you're a slave to sin, according to the Bible, according to Jesus. But he who the Son sets free is free indeed. Oh no, I don't give knockers high fives. You need to repent, sir. You need to repent. You're a big self of God, sir. You need to repent. You cheer on these wicked music and these wicked musicians. Melvin, get some more tracks. These wicked musicians, we're here to call you to repentance. God says, do not have any idols before me or graven images. I wonder how many of you would go to a three-hour concert of his and holy gospel music. Music declaring the glory of God. Music worshiping God for all his goodness. Music worshiping Christ for his sacrifice on the cross and treasuring the Bible. Most of you wouldn't go to the thing. I say all of you wouldn't go to the thing. What does that do, sir? That would hurt me. You're affecting your own soul, sir. As a sinner, you're going to go to hell. You're going to go to hell, sinner. Do you think walking by you, the devil's trying to stick your tongue out, going to harm me or hurt me or curse me in some way? You need to stop being fools for the devil. Stop being slaves for sin and be slaves to righteousness. So when if you're a fool for the devil, the devil just tearing you up, get you to paint your body, get you to mark up your body and put earrings in yourself all over the place and paint your face for kiss and go to wicked music. You're not going to heaven. No, you're not. I, I know you're going in there, that's what I know. And if you go on the way to heaven, I'll go there. Then I'll go there. That's funny. That's funny. And you're going to cut your hair too, sir. You're going to cut your hair. So I mean, it has short hair. Doesn't nature teach you this? It can tell you something when all these lobsters, they all have long hair like girls. It'll tell you something. If you're going to this concert tonight and leaving your children with like my dad did, leaving your children with nonsense. What are you from that dusty next lady like? Is that lady like this woman around here? Are you from that lady like man? And look at the way you're dressed. They're a little bit more clothing on, looser clothing on. We're here tonight at the very gate, the very way to destruction. We're here to proclaim to you everlasting life. You think that's funny, sir? What's funny about it? I want to know. Please, let me in on the secret here. What's funny? We're here to command you to repent this tonight. Christ is coming back. He's going to stomp out the grapes of wrath, and he's going to punish sin and sinners. You're in danger if you're a sinner, and you're going to give an account for how you lead your family, too, sir. You're going to give an account for how you lead your family. You're leading them a sinner, leading them a righteous sin. You're going to give an account of that, sir. We're here tonight to call you to repentance. God commands all men everywhere to repent because it's coming a day in which Christ will judge the world in righteousness. Don't you know that? Don't you understand? Christ will judge the way you dress. Christ will judge the way you think. Christ will judge the way you dress. Christ will judge the way you think, what you listen to, what you spend your money on. Christ will judge what comes out of your mouth. What lyrics you listen to in your head. What plagues your mind, the thoughts and intents of your heart, Christ is going to judge you for these things. And you're not ready. If you're going to this concert or not, you're not ready for Christ to judge you. Don't delude yourself and think you're a Christian because you go to a building and you call a church every week. Don't delude yourself to thinking you're a Christian because you ask yes in your heart or pray this in their prayer. Don't delude yourself walking on down the path that leads to destruction, ignoring the saints of God, calling you to repentance, calling you to the narrow path, the difficult path. So many of you are at the easy path. You are to slow with the wind, slow with the waves, slow with the stream, right to hell. In this world, you're going to fight the stream of life and go against the world, not be a friend of the world, be an enemy of the world, be a friend of Jesus Christ. We died for you on the cross. These songs can't free you. These songs can't free you. You're not a free bird. You're a, you're a slave bird. You're a slave in a cage, a slave to your sins. But Christ came to free you from your sins. 
The game that changes must play the sins or play the righteousness. That's aggressive, sir. Yeah, that's what I think about you. Yeah, I do. You're going in here and you don't tell me that on Bible? You're going in here? You're going in here and you... You have a filthy oh. word coming out of your mouth. And you're telling me I don't know the Bible, sir. How deluded can you be to call good, evil, and evil good? God's calling you to repent tonight. To repent of your filthy words. To repent of your filthy thoughts. Um, you're not my sister. No, you're not. No. No, you're not. You need to go home with more clothing on. You are not a child of God. Children of God, women of God don't dress like this. They don't dress like this. You are, you are very ungodly in your dress. You are very immodest in your dress. You need to repent. Go home with more clothing on. No! You better watch your mouth, sinner, your filthy words. I'm fine. I'm preaching the word of God. I'm preaching the truth. I got nothing to watch. Got nothing to watch, sir. No, I'm not. What's that? I'm shaking in my boots, sinner. You can't do anything to me unless God allows it. You're in big trouble. You know why you don't like judgment? Because you're a criminal. You're guilty. That's why you don't like judgment. That's why you don't like judgment. Because you're guilty. You're guilty. Look at the way you dress. Look at what you're going to. Look at the way you dress. Look at what you're going to. You're not a Christian. Yes. Lord, you're admitting it. You're not a Christian. If you're going here tonight, you're not a Christian. Don't delude yourself. Don't deceive yourself. Don't go to a building on Sunday and think you're okay with God. Don't go to church tomorrow and think you're okay with God. If you're a youth pastor or a pastor, you're in great danger. Big trouble. You're leading the flock astray. You need to forsake your sins. God's not pleased with these things that are going on here. He's not pleased with motley crew and kids. He's not pleased with their filthy music. He's not pleased with you giving your money to them. Not at all. You need to rip up your ticket, put it in the garbage, and go home. That's what you need to do. That's true repentance. That's true repentance. You rip up those tickets, put them where they belong in the garbage, the square file there, file away the square file, and get right with God. Forsake your sins. You have no hope if you're still, if you stay in your sins, there's no hope for you in your sins. You can't have Jesus your Savior and have your sins. You can't have Jesus as your Savior and still be in your sins. John the Baptist says, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. You are still in your sins. You have to take them away. You have to forsake your sins while you still have time. Give up your motley crew. Give up your kiss. Give up your Jeff Leopard. Give up your Led Zeppelin. Give up your Jimi Hendrix. Give up your Eric Clapton. I used to listen to all that garbage. Give it up. Follow Jesus Christ. Smash those CDs. Burn those CDs. Delete those files. Go home and get right with God while you still have time. While there's no breath in your nostrils, while your heart's still beating, get right with God. You may not have tomorrow, sinner. God could demand your life of you tonight. Your life is a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. Your life could vanish away tonight. And if it does and you're not right with God because you're still in your sin, you will end up in hell. That's God's punishment place. That's where God sends sinners. That's where God sends those who are against being judgmental. That's where God sends those who listen to Chris and Motley Crue. That's where God sends drunkards. That's where God sends fornicators and blasphemers. I wonder how many here tonight will blaspheme God's name. I wonder how many here tonight will fear for Kiss and Motley Crue as they exalt themselves, as they exalt the devil, and put down God and Jesus Christ. I wonder how many here tonight will fear for Motley Crue and Kiss with a devil sign up, with a tongue out of their mouth, and they will give glory to the one who created it. God commands you to repent. Give up your sins. Burn all your filthy shirts. Put away your filthy language. Yeah, it's a filthy shirt, sir. It shows who your allegiance really is to. Your allegiance is to God. You're against God. You're of your father the devil if you're still in sin. And God calls you to repentance today. God calls this is the 
mercy of God. So he was so like he's gonna be judgmental. It's the mercy of God in you today that I would come here and warn you the mercy of God towards you, the goodness of God towards you, causing you to come to repentance, not wanting you to perish. You shake your head. God shakes his head at you, sinner. So you go on in your sins and you leave your children in sin. You leave your children in disgusting nonsense. And God's angry with you. You can laugh and smirk and smile all you want. This is not the kind of entertainment you take your children to. It's not the kind of entertainment adults should go to, let alone children. And you'll come out here even with crutches on. That's how much you love Fish and Motley Crew. You'll come out here, you'll get out of your bed and come out here with crutches on. Just to watch your idols. How many years have you been following Kiss and Motley Crue, sir? How many years have you been following them? 40 years, 30 years, 20 years? All these years following this nonsense. All these years following this wickedness. You, you think throwing up a devil sign is cool, yeah! I'm cool! Look at me, I'm a devil worshiper! Ha 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 It's not funny, sinner! It's gonna cost you your soul to be a sinner! You won't be throwing up devil signs in the lake of fire! You'll be sticking your tongue out in the lake of fire except for to get a drop of water from God, which he won't give you. There'll be no pleasure, there'll be no relief in hell, no pleasure in hell, no motley crew, no kiss in hell. No motley crew, conscious in hell, no kiss conscious in hell. Although the people who are in part of this band that don't repent, they'll be there. And all you people who lead your children in wickedness will be there as well. Yes, you will, you're putting your thumb up. And if this concert is so bad to put earplugs in your son's ear to tell you something, sir, to tell you don't come to this place, except the priests that are sinners are on their way to hell. We're here to call you to repentance today. God does not desire your death. God does not desire your destruction. But as long as you say a sinner, you're going to destruction. God commands you to turn and live. God commands you to turn and live. But as long as you stay a sinner, and you remain in your sins, you have no eternal life. Christ is the way, He is the truth, He is the life. There's no other way to the Father except through Him. He's the way. Kiss is not the way. Molly Crew is not the way. Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ hates sin. The Bible says in Hebrews 1.9 that Jesus loved righteousness but hated lawlessness. And you pay money to engage in the things that God hates. You pay money to engage in the things that God hates. You support the things that God hates with your shirts, with your hairstyle, with the painting of your face. You support the things that God hates. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. There's no pictures of Jesus. They didn't have cameras back then. And you're judging everybody. Yes, I'm judging you. Yes, I'm here to judge your life. No, I'm not. Show me that in the Bible, sir. Read it. doesn't say that. I've read it through many times. never says that. Yeah, where, where is that found? Is that one of the Ten Commandments? Is that one of the Ten Commandments? No, it's not the Ten Commandments. It's in the Bible. Not in the Bible. Thou shalt not judge it. Not in the Bible. My grandfather, both of them, knew the Bible. If they told you that, they didn't know the Bible. If they told you that, they didn't know the Bible. It's not in there. Going to church is not going to help you, sir. You're going to Motley Crue and Kiss. Yeah, say you're a sinner. You're not a Christian. You're a sinner. You're not a Christian. You're not paid for. You're not paid for. Your sins aren't paid for. Where the Bible say so your sins are paid for? Where is the Bible? You're now using God to judge the place of cuss word. Yeah, but you're not saved from your sin. You're still in your sin, sir. So God hasn't saved you. You're still in your sins. On your way to hell. You're still in your sin on the way to hell. You haven't been saved from your sins. No amount of church going, no amount of quoting supposed Bible verses is going to save you on the judgment day, sir. Oh, you're scaring me. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Wow. You're going to end up in hell, sir. You need to repent. Be serious about it. Be so minded about this. I'm not going to be there, sinner. I'm not going to be there. My little children, let us not love in word or tongue. I'm a Christian. I go to church. But let us love in deed and in truth. And by, you're not listening. Let us love in deed and in truth. And by this we know we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. The Bible says if you love God, you obey him. I don't mind being judged. Yeah, the church, 
the judge, the Bible says that to be the punishment for judging is to be judged with the same standard. I don't mind that. The punishment for judging is not going to hell. The punishment for judging is being judged in the same way. Yeah, there's ladies around here. You shouldn't do that. But God commands you to repent. Amazing to me how you go walk in here looking just like Kiss and Motley Crue. The way they're dressed, the way their hair is, just like their idols. You should have no idols before me, Jesus said. I don't have to be God. I'm a follower of God. I never claimed to be God, sir. But I follow Jesus Christ. I'm here to proclaim his message. Why go into this country? Give me one good reason to go in this country tonight. You can't give me one. You can't give me one good reason to go to this concert tonight. There isn't one good reason. This concert is sinful. This concert is wicked. If you're going to this concert, you're not covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. You're not once saved, always saved. Going to church tomorrow or Sunday is not going to help you. You need to repent. You need to repent or you're going to perish. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. If you think you can be unrighteous and inherit the kingdom of God, you're deceived. You're deceived. For this you know that no fornicator, unclean person, or covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Let no one deceive you with empty words. For because of these things, the wrath... Why are you giving me a thumbs up, sir? We shouldn't be going in there. Do you think you're a Christian? You don't think you're a Christian, do you? You're not a Christian, sir. Don't deceive yourself. We're going in there, you're not a Christian. You're not a Christian. Oh, you stuck your... Yes, what Christ is to you, it doesn't say. Off the hell. You want to live like the devil? Stop being a hypocrite. Just live like the devil. Don't give a facade of Christianity when you're not really a Christian. You know, Christ had his harshest words for hypocrites. Those who were outwardly religious, they would say they're a Christian, they would go to, to the buildings, the synagogues, but they would live like the devil. And if you're going here tonight, you're a child of the devil. If you're going here tonight, you're a child of the devil. You're not a child of God. A child of God would not pay money for this. They would not support such nonsense. They would not listen to such wicked lyrics like Kiss and Motley Crue and Black Sabbath. They wouldn't listen to such garbage. They wouldn't. You shouldn't be listening to that. You're filling your mind, your brain with nonsense. Fill your mind. And she likes filling your mind with nonsense, obviously. You're filling your mind with nonsense. You ought to fill your mind with the Word of God. You ought to fill your mind with godly music. Not this garbage. Not this nonsense. Not Kiss. Not Motley Crue. Give it up. Forsake your sins. Follow Jesus Christ. Only those who are living holy, only those who are obeying God, have eternal life. Uh, if you're coming here tonight, you're not obeying God. Just so you know. Just so you know. If you're giving the thumbs up like you're obeying God, you're coming, you're coming here tonight, you're not obeying God. You are disqualified. If you're coming here tonight, you're disqualified for the category of obeying God. You're disqualified. You need to stop being disqualified. You need to get forgiveness for sickness and to get forgiveness of sins through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ despises, absolutely hates these kind of concerts. What does that do, sir? Give me a middle finger so it hurt my feelings? You need to repent, sir. That's your response to offering eternal life and giving you the middle finger? You need to forsake your sins. Give up kiss. Give up mildly true. Follow Jesus Christ. They're not worth following. Jesus Christ is worth following. Jesus Christ died for you on the cross. They didn't. All they care about is your money. All they want to do is become famous. I've been giving to them for years. Many have been giving to them for decades. Their money. Buying their albums, buying their CDs, buying their cassettes, maybe even buying their 8-tracks. They're going back to keep going to their concerts, giving them your money, allowing them to continue their wickedness, and the promoting of their ungodliness, and you promote it with them. You help them. You shrug your shoulders at that, sir? That you're helping people to promote wickedness? Well, what are you talking to shrug your shoulders about, sir? You're not right with God. You're on your way to hell. That's what the shrug your shoulders about. There you are. Yeah, you're going to hell, sir. You're on your way to hell. Just this morning, it's not there. Hey, Jesus loves everybody, baby. Uh, well, he doesn't love what's going on in there. Jesus loves everybody. Does he Jesus send people to hell? Does you're Jesus wrong, send people to hell? Does wrong. Jesus send people to hell? Jesus sends people to heaven. Yeah, he sends people to hell, 
closer. And he's going to send you to hell. Jesus was a hippie rebel. That's what you want to believe, sinner, but it's not the truth. I, I, you know, I realize why you want to believe that, but it's not the truth, sinner. He died on the cross because the whole world hated him. Because he promoted holiness and preached against their wickedness. Same thing I'm doing. No, sinner. Nice try. Nice try. I mean, you can believe that if you want, but it's not the truth. You're deluded. You're deluded. You're deluded. Whatever you say. 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 Are you married? No, I'm not. Then your sex is unsafe. You incur upon yourself every time you fornicate, sexually transmitted damnation every time. Because fornicators will inherit the kingdom of God. That's not safe sex. You can, you can protect yourself from gonorrhea, from syphilis, from crash, from herpes, even HIV, unwanted pregnancies. But you can't protect yourself from the wrath of God when you engage in fornication, sir. The only protection from that is forsaking it and trusting in Christ. I'm not going to be there. I'm a lot judge, sinner. I'm qualified to judge. Yes, I will judge the world. I'm not throwing any stones. No stones. No stones. Do you see a stone? No, no, it's not a parable. It's an actual situation. A woman was brought in, caught in adultery. They were going to Listen, can you kill someone with literal, metaphorical word stones? Everything in the metaphorical. Really? Is that metaphorical? It's all metaphorical, bro. Is that metaphorical? I'm going to tell you this right now. Every person that sits at the stone. Another isn't. Another open center. Hey, what's that? I'm sure you probably did. So what? But you know what's in the Bible? Fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God. Either a drunkard or potty mouth. I won't be there, sinner. You won't inherit the kingdom of God. That's in the Bible. Judgment day is coming. That's in the Bible. Christ died for you. That's in the Bible. Forsake your sins. Follow Jesus Christ who shed his blood for you on the cross. Amen. Uh, if you're going in here, you can't say amen to that, sir. This is sinful in here. This is wicked. This is nonsense. This is garbage. You shouldn't be going this. What's that? Well, we can beg to all you want. It doesn't change the facts, sir. You're judging. I am judging. Are you judging my judging? You're judging my judging, aren't you? You're not a sin to judge. You know why you don't like judging? Because you're guilty. You're a guilty criminal in God's eyes. That's the only people who don't like judging. You go into a courtroom and someone's innocent, they don't mind judging. You go into a courtroom and someone's guilty, that's when they don't like judging. And that's why you don't like judging. Because you're a guilty criminal. But you can become innocent before God if you'll forsake your sins and trust in Christ. Hence, forsaking sins, giving them up, putting them away, surrendering completely your whole life to Christ. If you're going here tonight, you have not surrendered your life completely. Maybe some of you have surrendered partially, but partial surrender means you're still an enemy. It means you're still engaged in warfare with God. If you're engaged in warfare with God, you're an enemy of God, you haven't laid down your arms, waved the white flag of surrender, surrendered all of your life to Christ, you're still an enemy of God. And if you're an enemy of God, you're on the wrong side. You're on the wrong team. You're on the losing team. If you're on the same team as Prince and Motley Crue, you're on the wrong team. But God's offering you eternal life tonight, even in the midst of your sin, in the midst of his wickedness, and listen, going to a wicked concert of Pitts and Motley Crue, God is offering you mercy. God is offering you cleansing. He's offering you forgiveness. But you must forsake your sins. You can't have your Pitts and Motley Crue and have Jesus at the same time. You can't have all of the same time. Jesus commands you to give up your Pitts and Motley Crue. Jesus commands you to give up your fornication. Jesus commands you to give up your lying and your stealing. Give up your drunkenness. Jesus commands you to give up your pot smoking and your acid dropping. He commands you to give up all of your sins. He commands you to give up your porn washing. He commands you to give up your lust. Christ commands you to give up it all. He gave it all for you. And he commands you to give all back to him. Christ shed his blood for you on the cross, dying the just for the unjust to reconcile you back to God. But you go on the broadcast. You go on in your sins. Go to the, me the message. Go to the gospel. Apathetic to the gospel. Christ came to save you from your sins. Sir, I would never go to this filthy place. I would never go to this filthy concert. Because it's sinful. And I love my Lord Jesus Christ. 
Jesus would die for me on the cross to deliver me from this present evil age. We are going to love this nonsense I'm here. And if you're engaged in it and you're trying to sell tickets to it, you're in trouble with God too. John 3.16, he says you love everybody. Uh, John 3.18, sir. John 3.18. Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can go on with your God loves everybody stuff, but God's going to send sinners to hell, sir. And if you're a sinner, you're on your way to hell right now. Oh, you're going, buddy. You're on your way to hell, sir. You need to stop sinning, sir. Give up your sin. Go and sin no more. So, we better perish. You don't see it. Nope.
God loves righteousness and hates lawlessness. Clear not. 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 Clear Two, three, three, four. 